I have five minutes. Here, then five minutes is over. I'm going to ask Aqua Jay to just raise up your hand so I know. Um, ten minutes. Oh, just kidding. Ten minutes? Absolutely. So I was asked to make a devotion about the end of the year. But before we begin, let's bow our hands and pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you. Lord, we are so grateful for everything. The fact that we are still alive today, it's a miracle in itself. Heavenly Father, teach us to appreciate the gift of life you've given us and the gift of your message, which I knew every morning towards us. Mm. Heavenly Father, as we're going to study more of your word, we pray that you will send your Holy Spirit to guide us and motivate us and teach us to obey your word. Always in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, um, this is Psalm. Did you know that in the book of Psalms, there's a portion which was written by Moses? Psalms 19. Psalms 19. So, I'm going to focus on one verse Psalms 90, verse 10. It reads, the days, of our, the days of our years are three score years and ten, and if by reason of strength there are four score years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and refined away. Did you get it? So, Moses here, after spending all the time dealing with the Israelites, he understands and he sees that actually we're supposed to live, that if we live like up to 70, and if we are strong enough, it's 80, and from there, it's over, right? Uh, it's the end of the year. Being, being, being the end of the year, uh, it's kind of, I, I want to talk about the end. Of our lives. What do we think about our end? What comes in our mind? It is well with your soul and God. I have a small question, um, maybe one or two people may answer. Um, when you think about yourself, what do you want people to say about you? Or what do you want your end to look like? Like the end of your life to look like? Celebration. 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 That I made a difference in somebody's life. That, that she made a difference in somebody's life. Anyone? My life was worth living. So here Moses talks about the end. Of course, all those are very important when you want to have a good ending. There's a verse, I cannot say it, but it's within. It says, teach us, Lord, to number our days. Mm. What does it mean when it says, teach us to number our days? I will explain it and my names are going to be all right. So, basically, what happens is, we have everything to do in the world. Entertainment, enjoyment, music, work, rest, family, socializing, you list it, you name it. But the reason why Moses says, teach us to number our days, is because we are not supposed to do everything that is in this world. Mm. There are specific things we have to do. Right. Other things are gradually, yes. additional not needed. You can live without them. But there are things as a Christian you can't live without them. Mm. And when he says teach us to number our days is to calculate. I, I, I was once a student and this is what happens. If you have, um, let's say, one semester or let's say one term, right? You have a syllabus what to follow, this is what's going to come in the exams. And when you're revising before the exams, you have lots of things to study, books, but there's those special sections, special chapters you have to read because, you know, the 
always are going to show up. Same thing with Christianity. We have lots of things to do, but there are those important subjects we have to concentrate, study, understand thoroughly, because those are the ones which matter. Mm. So I cannot say these are the ones which matter for you or for me. Christianity is a personal journey. Everyone has his own standard. Uh, I mean, his level might be here, she might be there. It's different. You know personally uh, when it comes to your relationship with God, where are you? And you have to number your days by concentrating on those very important subjects or chapters of your life. May God bless you and may God bless you too. Amen. Amen. Amen.